Hello again everybody, SciFiGuy86 here, Sci-Fi Guy's Minecraft channel. We're going to go ahead and uh, get to work on the Let's Build series again. i got my little beginning of a town over there, the road with the stone circle coming up all the way up to the keep, which is about 95% complete, and the courtyard, which I've added in, and the roof over here is about 25% complete, well about 20% complete honestly. And we've got these two pathways here just about complete now. Um, we did the fountain in the last episode, and since then I finished this courtyard ground here, as well as the uh, other pathway over here. So what I want to do in this episode is actually going to be focused mainly on um, decorations for the castle. So, or not necessarily for the castle, but for this area. So what I'm going to do... Oh gosh, okay. I need to stay flying, if possible. Uh, first off, I would like to add benches. Now, one thing that I like to do for benches... I'm going to have to dig some of this out. It's super laggy, guys. I'm sorry. My computer is running slow for some reason today. Um, now, what I like to do is place a block above where I'm going to be building my table. Like this. It makes it a little easier. I think. Actually, you know what? I'm on PC. I don't have to do this. I play on Xbox so much I forget the an advantages to PC, but on Xbox, in order to place a block upside down, you have to look at the underside of a block. On PC, check this out. I don't have to do that at all. Oh, I need my... I need my slabs. Okay, I'm going to do it out of quartz, actually, so it matches the fountain. There's my slabs. Alright, so we're going to take a slab and go right to the center of where we want our bench. We're going to take a stair, upside down on one side, facing it, upside down on the other side, facing it. And there's our little bench. Very simple little bench, guys. Very simple. But I like it a lot. It works quite well. I'm going to do this again on the other sides, um, but I'm not going to do that in this episode. I just wanted to show you how to do the little things I'm going to do. Uh, something else I want to do is add in some uh, bushes as well as flowers in here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some decoration blocks. I'm going to get rid of all this stuff first. I want bushes. I'll probably go with... Actually, let's go with spruce. Spruce is what I've been using for wood, so might as well use spruce leaves as well. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and do that, and where's the two tall flowers? There's the two tall roses, sunflower, lilac, that'll work. And then, let's go ahead and come down here, and we're going to start placing out some bushes. Now, for the bushes, it's really easy. What I usually do is just a simple hedge kind of thing. Um, you just go all the way around whatever you're working on. Kind of like a border, you know. Really simple, really nice. That's that's the simple side. This side here, um, I probably want to do the same thing. A little hedge. A shrubbery but one slightly larger than the last one. Do you want to say, say ni, 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 ni? Sorry. I'm a nut, and I like Monty Python. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and fill this in just like so. All the way across. I showed you before. I'm actually going to stop there just so you can kind of get an idea of it. But um, So I've got the shrubberies kind of going across like that. Um, something else I want to do is actually add in a few of these shrubberies right here. Yes, you can still walk between them. But I want to get to work on some flowers before this episode ends. Okay. So... With the flowers, 
there's a lot of different things you can do, um, especially because we have so many different colors now. But something I like to do with it is just a simple uh, variation, I guess. Like, just try to keep it varied as much as possible. Um, but something else I like to do is you can do designs with the flowers on larger scales. But this is this is a smaller scale, so we're just going to go ahead and do some rose bushes along this wall. going to put them in the corners only, probably, on this wall. Oops. I broke a grass block. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so we got some rose bushes. I'm going to go ahead and put some rose bushes in the center of all these. But I'll stop there, so you can kind of get the idea of what I'm doing. Now, lilacs, I'm going to put pretty much around any rose bushes I see. But that one, because that one has to be a path, that one has to be a path. So like that. Like that. Well, you know what? Screw it. I know it has to be a path, but I kind of want to keep the, comp the pattern the same. So this is a very colorful little area, obviously. But this is supposed to be the royal ballroom courtyard. So this is where the king would have his, his flowers and some kind of presentation of, you know, what his gardener, what his actual gardener can do, you know. There'll, there would be some extended gardens else elsewhere, too, with designs, because it is the royal castle. But this is just a small sample of what the gardener can do. So I'm going to go ahead and put blue in front of the rose bushes. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to put probably white in front of the lilacs. So, and then I'll probably put in one last flower. Be the lilac, our little. I think they're li lilac. I don't even know what they are. These little lilies or something. All right, and now we've got a nice little garden area there, and I'm probably going to continue that same pattern all the way through this whole garden and it will look pretty decent. So, uh, yeah. Stay tuned for the next episode of my Let's Build. I'll probably work more on this roof, um, as well as the rest of the decorations in this area here. Um, I'll probably also add some lamps in here, but I'll show you how to do that the next episode. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more from Sci-Fi Guys Minecraft. Please like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.